I spoke exclusively with serial entrepreneur Mark Laurie as he unveils his new venture, Wonder Group, for which he is founder, CEO, and chairman. We talked the future of food tech, the future of habitation with his long-term Telosa project, and the future of the NBA's Timberwolves since he is the team's new co-owner. Laurie discussed his vision to enhance food delivery service with mobile kitchens and celebrity chef and restaurant partnerships as Wonder now emerges from stealth. Take a listen. If you sort of see what's, what's happening in sort of food delivery, you know, millennials, Gen Z, people, they don't want to cook as much. They really enjoy the convenience of getting food delivered. Uh, we know there's a lot of challenges in just sort of the food quality, the types of foods that you can deliver, the price point, um, the heat on the food is not always there. And so what Wonder has done is basically took it to another level by basically cooking the food right outside your door in a mobile kitchen. And, and that's really Wonder in a nutshell. There is a, a chef on board driving the, the mobile kitchen, pulls up in front of your door in, in, on average in around 10 minutes and then fires up a, a high speed convection oven. There's no open flame. This is not a food truck. Um, all the food is prepped in a big central commissary kitchen. Um, and then the trucks are, are loaded up in the morning and then they're out on the road. CNBC earlier this year broke the news that there was a pilot program underway for Wonder in North Jersey. How many markets are you in? How quickly can you expand? Yeah, so we're in four cities right now. We have 60 mobile kitchens on the road, and we've proven the model. We're ready to scale now. We'll be adding over 1,000 mobile kitchens over the next year, expanding all through the tri-state area. We purposely started in the suburbs because we felt if it worked in the suburbs, you know, this is a really big mass idea. Uh, we could have started in New York City. We think New York City obviously will be the top market given the density and how often people order in. Um, but we felt like, let's prove it, it works in the suburbs. And then we'll know how, how big this could really be. And, and, and we now know it's going to be massive. Yeah. So what is it going to take to scale? And I, I ask that because I've heard from sources that you've raised something to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars while the company has been in stealth. Is that actually the case? How much have you raised? Yeah, we haven't disclosed the exact amount. Hundreds of millions is a, is a, is a fair number. Um, but we will need a significant amount of capital to scale this across the country. But the good thing is that we're able to prove it in a local area, get the economics right. And then once that's right, it really just is a function of capital and, and the team executing. And I, I think we've got uh, an incredible team. We've got over 800 employees. We've sort of built the company to scale day one. We've made massive investments in things like food safety and government relations in sort of the, the finance and back end. We're going through a public company audit. It's, uh, it's a very atypical startup in the way it's being built. So a public company audit, is that is that the game plan once you do scale to go public? I mean, that's always an option. I think we just want to, yeah. you know, build the company as if it's going to be, you know, hundreds to hundreds of billions from day one, sort of build the infrastructure the right way so we're not chasing. How much has the pandemic been a tailwind to a business like this? And are these consumer habits that you would expect to remain even as coronavirus subsides? Yeah, I mean, it has, in many cases, people are now out going out to restaurants and things, and it hasn't subsided. I think it accelerated a trend that was already going to happen, and I don't, I don't see it going backwards. I see it only accelerating in the coming decade. And so I think we're at sort of the early stages of a, of a mega trend 